What do you call a comic book that does not carry insurance? Coverless. Ah. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Greetings and salutations, my fellow comic book lovers. My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics, and I have two comics I would like to show you today. And as you could see, the wonderful packaging continues off of eBay. And uh, the funny part is I, I hear people all the time say they kind of are afraid to buy on eBay for things like this. This is what I want to tell people. One of the best things I like about eBay and why I never have a problem is the eBay Buyer's Protection Program. Now, of course, you know, we all want the books to arrive safely, and it's frustrating if we get a book that gets damaged, and it's frustrating that you have to mail it back and all that other fun stuff, but at least you get your money back. Like, if you ordered something on Craigslist or did a trade from somebody that ended up doing the wrong thing, you know, good luck getting anything back. So I know that could be frustrating, but let me tell you, for every one that gets ruined, I get 500 that don't. Because even though these are in, you know, not the best packaging, as you could see, they, are, they have arrived safely. So even comics where the bag and board have been not the best, and look at this. <laughs> Speaking of not the best, they still arrive safely. So this person, it looks like they didn't, well, they definitely didn't put it with a board. I wonder if they even put it with a bag. So that's a really bad job on their behalf. But like I said, as long as the comic is okay, that's all I care about. And if you have to get your money back, you know what? It, to me, I've never had a problem. Every time I've had to file a claim, I've gotten my money back every single time. So yeah, this one... This this is secure packaging for some people. Uh, so, but, you know, it does pay you to have a sense of humor. So, this book, like the title of this, and look at this, not even in a bag and board. Uh, gotta love people. But this book is a just-in-time, and I won't explain why, because I don't want to spoil anything. So, we'll just leave it at that, and if you want to find out or you know, please don't leave it in the comment section, just in case. And you'll understand it when you see it. But um, I bought this before the confirmation. And again, I'll leave it at that. So here is the first book I want to show. This is a Silver Age key. Definitely a book I have always wanted. And we have X-Men number 12, which is the first appearance of the Juggernaut. And this one I got a great deal on. Now, this is a lower grade book. As you could see... On the bottom, there's a lot of color loss. There's a lot of spinal ticks along the edge. But overall, the colors look pretty good. Looks to be intact. I guess the good thing is I can inspect it. So you can see the coupons are there. It looks like cream, kind of like creamed off-white pages. Let's check the centerfold. So, uh, let's see. That looks good. No coupons cut, no writing. The inside looks pretty good, other than the fact that the colors, uh, the pages faded a little bit. But there you go. So, you could see the staples are intact. No coupons have been cut. So, I would probably say, let's see the back. A little bit of a yellowing. There's uh, some dirt along here. Dry cleaning would fix that. Doesn't look like it would need a pressing, because you can't do anything about color breaks, but I would say this is probably a 3.0, somewhere around there. But for the price I paid for it, $72.23, including shipping and handling. So that one, I mean, even in that condition, great price. But I will be uh, putting that in a bag and board. But like I said, you know, sometimes you're going to see stuff like this, and that's... You know, that's, that's eBay for you, but I don't mind taking the chance, because as you could see, yeah, it doesn't have a bag and board, and that kind of stinks, but I mean, it's not really that difficult to put it in a bag and board. And the comic is intact, so for the price I paid for it, totally worth it. And uh, even though I get some interesting packages from most of these eBay sellers, they still arrive okay. So uh, this one seems to be 
taped. So give me a second. I want to cut this. And this person did put it in a bag and board. It's just, it looks like a golden age bag and board. So at least we're making the right progress. So I'll have to change this one. And he taped it to the cardboard. So let me, I'm going to have to replace that anyway. So let's get rid of this. So yeah, so this is a first, that one is a first appearance of a major character. I've always wanted that book. It's definitely been an expensive book, and now it's probably going to be even more expensive. Uh, again, I will not mention why, because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So I'm sure most of you understand what I'm talking about. But in case there's one person that doesn't, I don't want to ruin it. So here is the second book. And we have another, but a better conditioned X-Men number 12. And this one looks a lot better. Okay, so you can see the bottom. There are no color breaks. There's a few minor breaks that break color here. This book looks like it's been pressed. But that's okay. That saves me the trouble. But overall, I'm oh, sorry, I got to make sure I angle it right. Colors look great. So let's take this out of here. Because I'm going to replace this anyway. So they did put an extra bag and board. And this one they put in a top loader, which, and there's no bag and board inside there. So uh, I will be switching that as well. Because you never, and this is advice, never put your comics just in a top loader. Because as you can see, nothing's stopping the elements from getting in there. Bugs, dust, moisture. So this will be replaced. So definitely don't do that. But if anything, we can at least inspect the book. So we'll check the back out. All right, so there's a little stain right there. That's not a major deal. Uh, feels a little rough there it looks like that's probably where people's fingers went when they were reading the book as usual there's some dirt along here inside looks pretty good there's like a little yellow spot on every page but that's all right that means you know probably from oil residue from people's fingers but as you can see the coupons are there colors look good the page again Probably off-white. I wouldn't say off-white to white, but you could see the staples are intact. And looks pretty good. So overall, this one I would say is probably about a 5.0. Maybe a 4.5, but definitely a lot better. And again, first appearance of the Juggernaut. So, we have X-Men 12, first appearance of the Juggernaut. And X-Men 12, first appearance of the Juggernaut. Now, this one I paid a little bit more, but still considering not a bad price, even before the certain thing that I won't mention was uh, official, I paid $161 for this one. So I would say overall, not bad at all. So that is my video. I hope you appreciated it. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to view. I hope you will take the time to comment and share your thoughts. I always appreciate that, especially if you appreciate my weird and warped, corny sense of humor. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And uh, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And somebody that got a sex change is now an X-Men. Ah.